Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows Bebop. That's right, our TMNT 2 movie figures are beginning to hit store shelves, and I'm going to start off by taking a look at one of the figures I personally am most excited for, and that is Bebop. Let's check him out! As you can see, he comes on blister card packaging that is very similar to what we've seen for the Nick Turtles line. Has that same kind of green and yellow color scheme, but up in the right hand corner we have a look at the four movie style turtles. And then our blister bubble fully showcases our Bebop action figure within. And when you rotate that around to the back side of the box, we're treated to a cross cell showing you all of the figures in this current TMNT2 movie toy line. All right, so let's go ahead and get Bebop outside of the packaging and take a closer look at him. Now, ever since seeing Bebop and Rocksteady debut in the trailer for the new film, I gotta say, I really dig the look of the characters. It's very obvious that the original cartoon series and toy line were the inspiration for these new designs. So that's part of the reason I was really excited to get these new Bebop and Rocksteady action figures from this new line. And I gotta tell you, Bebop looks pretty incredible. Uh, the sculpt on this guy is really wicked. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at him. Let's go ahead and start with that head sculpt there. Really great warthog uh, head sculpt going on there. And like I said, you're going to notice lots of things about this guy that are total nods to the original cartoon version of Bebop, such as those sweet pink glasses there. Look at that. I love those. Um, they're painted pink. And you can actually kind of raise them up. They're made of a softer plastic. You can see that he does have eyes sculpted underneath. Now they're unpainted. Uh, the entire head sculpt is actually looks like it's just kind of molded in this uh, like tan color plastic. But we do have some paint seen. Uh, the pink on the beard. The mohawk that goes down the back of the head there. And the mohawk actually trails all the way down his back, which is pretty sweet. Um, and it's just a separated by the sculpt. So you can still turn the head. And we'll get to the articulation in just a bit. Uh, you can see the teeth are painted. He's got a little nose ring there that's painted. So that's really nice. Uh, as you come down the figure, there's some really great stuff going on in the sculpting here. Um, and I will say that I feel like the paintwork is pretty well done on this figure. Um, now, the majority of the figure looks pretty plain as far as the tan color goes. Um, but I feel like that works fine because a lot of the rest of the figure still has some really nice color. You can see he's got this great kind of leather vest that he's wearing. There are some unpainted details on the back, but still really great details there. I love all the spikes and studs and everything going on there. Uh, you can see he's got the great necklace. Again, almost uh, like a nod to the original figure there. Really cool looking. Looks like it's got some teeth and stuff hanging off of it. Uh, you'll notice over here on the left shoulder, he's got this red kind of fire tattoo that's painted on, which is really great. And then he's got these great little wrist gauntlets there that have little studs on them. And you can see the studs are kind of painted. Like the tips are painted silver on a lot of them. Um, the underside, I don't know, it's kind of like, it's almost like it's frosted a bit. So they're not fully painted, but they have enough to kind of shine just a little bit. As you come down the rest of the figure here, you can see he's wearing like some black leather pants. Again, we've got those same studs on the side, painted silver. You can actually see he's got a little chain there. It's unpainted, but that's pretty cool, like a chain wallet that he's wearing. He does have a nice silver belt buckle there as well. And look at that, you got that little tail hanging out with the pink fur at the end of it. So pretty sweet. Look at those big stompers, big boots there, which is really cool. Love little details too, like the gold ring that he's wearing on his finger. So overall, I feel like the uh, sculpt is really great. And the paint job is pretty good as well. Uh, obviously, this is a figure, like if you wanted to get really ultra detailed, if you put like a black wash on this guy, that would really kind of dirty him up and bring out a lot of those great sculpted details and the skin and everything there. Uh, but for, you know, a basic action figure at the not 8 to $10 price point, uh, Playmates did really great with this one. I think the sculpt is fantastic, and I'm pretty okay with the paint job. And this is where things get even cooler. Let's talk about the articulation on this guy. Check this out. The head has the ability to rotate left and right, but it's also kind of like on a little ball joint. So you can see it also slightly moves up and down. You can kind of bobble it side to side. It rolls all the way around there. You got ball joints at the shoulder, so the arms can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. We have swivels at the elbow, an elbow joint, swivels at the wrists. We've got a waist turn, so you can turn the upper body left and right. we got the ball-like hinge joints at the thighs, so the legs can go outwards. They can also then move frontwards and backwards. We have swivels at the boot cut, and there's even a knee joint hidden in that boot cut there as well. So look at that. You can bend the knee, and you can swivel it. This 
is pretty incredible by Playmates Toy Standards. They didn't skimp on the articulation with this guy. This is one of the most articulated bad guys we've ever had, and it is absolutely the most articulated Bebop figure I think we've ever had, because this guy has got a great range of motion. So, I really love that. Now, he does come with two accessories. Uh, the accessories are unpainted plastic, like we see a lot of times in TMNT 2 lines, but really neat accessories. you got this great chain weapon that has a little padlock at the end of it, so that's pretty great. He can hold on to it nice and snug in either hand, and that way you can get some cool poses with him swinging that chain around. And aside from that, we also have a nice crowbar weapon. It's a bit of pliable plastic. You can see it bends just a little bit, and he can hold that again in either one of his hands. It's a bit of a loose fit. It's not super tight, uh, but it works pretty well, and these are really great weapons for this character. I like them quite a bit. All right, so scale-wise, let's talk about that real quick, just to kind of measure him up here. You can see that he stands right at about the 5-inch mark. Um, now, out of curiosity, I wanted to pair this guy up with our Nick Turtles, and you can see he's a great scale with the Nick Turtles. He's actually taller than the Nick Turtles, so if you want to use this Bebop and this Rocksteady in this line as the ones to fight your Nick Turtles or some of the other Turtles, I think that'll work pretty well. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at this brand new Out of the Shadows Bebop alongside some of the other Bebop action figures we've received in the past, including the Vintage figure, the figure from the recent Nick Turtles line, and the Classic Collection Bebop. Pretty sweet seeing these all side by side, and as I keep saying, it's obvious that he is a nod to that Vintage look. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new TMNT Out of the Shadows Bebop action figure from Playmates Toys. Overall, I'm very happy with this one. Uh, the paint job is a little bright. It would look cool if we had a little bit more details, but I don't really even consider that a complaint because I feel like they did pretty great with this guy. The sculpt is really wicked. He's got great heft, good articulation, and he looks pretty great paired up with that brand new Rocksteady figure as well. So definitely some of my favorite figures already from this brand new lineup. So, the Out of the Shadows action figures are hitting store shelves right now. I found mine at Walmart on a floor display, so happy hunting, my friends. And hey, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on one of my TMNT reviews. Until next time, my friends.